What's up guys, it's your boy Black Brew back with another video. Before we get started, cue Indigo Saint. Let's get it. Indigo Saint in the building. Black Brew investing, let's go. Who's this producer? Miss Believer was Black Brew investing. With your money, you ain't gotta be guessing. Profits is what we manifest. So we binge on a black who invested. This believer was black who invested. Got course in this race, we ain't resting. We got stocks, we got fit to with a blessing. So thank God for that black who invested. This believer was black who invested. My man indigo. So um hey guys, uh it's Black Rue back again. Uh you can find me on the gentleman of crypto, you can find me on Benzinga. Just go ahead and check on uh, my Twitter at Black Rue, and you'll be able to find exactly what times you can find me there. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a coin called Raditz. I'm really excited about Raditz. Let's get into it. <laughs> This was suggested uh, by a user. He said he really wanted me to look at Raditz. I think it was Be Like Water. I'm not sure who it was, but um, I'm, but I, you know who you are. <laughs> and here's where Raditz has been. And it's actually a relatively new coin. If we go, oh, didn't want to go there. If we go see where Raditz has been. As far as its overall price, let's go to overview, let's go to all. So relatively new, has been around only since September of last year, right? So kind of hopped right into that bull run, went from 11 cents to 60 cents, and all the way down to six cents. So. From here, we can expect at least a 10x, right? But um, if we come over here and take a look, one very exciting thing about Raditz is its speed. Now, let's look at its speed, shall we, guys? If I can find the article... If we look at its speed, the article is right here. I don't know what I did with it. Um, ta, 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 ta. Okay, we can just look it up. Okay, here it is. Scaling to over a million TPS. A million TPS. Radis achieves a, gr a record-breaking 1.4 million financial transactions per second using just seven seven hundred dollars of Google Cloud infrastructure. The test, which replay, replay, replayed 10 years of Bitcoin transactions uh, history in less than an hour, was done on 100 or I'm sorry, 1,187 Google servers spread across 17 uh, countries. To put this result into context, it's almost 17 times greater than the maximum transactional throughput of the entire Visa network, which is very fast, so I hear. Over four times greater than Alipay's highest throughput ever and more than two times WhatsApp's average number of messages sent per second. To put this into crypto terms, Solana claims that it can do up to a limit of 710k TPS. It says it has the ability to hit 65k, but if we go on Solana's site, it's it's at um, almost 4,000 transactions per second. Earlier today, when there was more traffic, it was probably around like uh, 3,000. And if we go over here and look at Algorand, which is a video I'm going to post, haven't posted it yet, 
but by the time you guys see this video, it may be posted or it may be posted after this, but just keep on the lookout for that one. But Algorand here, if we go look at their speed, they're at, I don't know what I did with all my articles, y'all, but okay, Algorand's at 6,000. So that's, okay, there it is. So, see, Alg Algorand's at 6,000 TBS. So it's blowing all of these out of the water. So technically, Algorand at the moment is faster than Solana. And Solana, at its fastest speed, is still not faster than Rabbit. So that's very, very, very cool to hear. Now, a couple different things that are coming up for Reddit. At the end of the year, they're going to have their Babylon drop come out. And we have that right here. Actually, it's quarter one of next year. An open self-incentivizing DeFi ecosystem with crypto component smart contracts running on network decentralized royalty system and on network blueprint catalog okay so they're building their own network they're getting everything in place um they're faster than pretty much every network out there they've tested it and to say they already have um partners of microsoft visa ibm like these are huge guys um t-mobile nvidia texas instruments nim um, UBS, Kaiser Permanente, um, Consensus, and Combinator. Now, these are two, like, the four, Microsoft, T-Mobile, IBM, and Visa are very, very, very influential partners. If we come over here and look at Hedera, we've talked about them before. Definitely check them out on the channel if you have not. And Hedera is a partners with LCX, which is partners with the World Economic Forum. So you can see IBM, T-Mobile, these guys are definitely members with World Economic Forum, deep pocket connections, right? So, so we can say at least Raditz has those connections, so that bodes very well for them along with, you know, Microsoft and Visa, who were like who's who of companies in the US, right? Or, or in the world. So that's that's cool. And sorry, my thing keeps beeping, beeping over here. Um, so, so it looks really cool for Raditz here. LCX is going up over here. So, so the, the history, like it looks really good for Raditz here. I just wanna let you guys know if you're looking to buy Raditz on um, KuCoin, it's gonna be eRaditz, which is their token. Everything just keeps going off here, guys. So sorry. It's their token wrapped up in Ethereum. So you can go over here and see. eRaditz is the wrapped representation of XR on Ethereum with ticker XR. D. If you want to buy this on KuCoin, you're going to be buying XRD. Okay. Now, if you want to buy, and it's a one-to-one -one relatio, same, uh, same max supply, so it's 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 no different here. Um, and if you want to switch it you know, to Radix's network, you can do that through through their bridge. Okay. But um, if you want to buy straight. Raditz, you can do that on MEXC, you can do that on gate.io, okay? And I believe those are the only markets. Bifinex, I'm not sure if you can use that in the U.S. Someone can tell me if, if you can or not, but here's some other places as well, including Bitmart that you can use in the U.S. But um, if you're like me and you use KuCoin a lot, KuCoin might be the easiest way to purchase it here. 
So let me know what you think of Raditz. I was really exciting, uh, excited when I saw this. Um, shout out to the user who let me know about it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Be Like Water. Um, if there's any coins you guys want me to look at, just let me know in the description there. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about Raditz. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out some of my past videos over. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace.